do a blessing. Now God, through his high priest, Melchizedek, yes. came into contact with Abraham. Yes. And the Bible says he now released the blessing upon him. Amen. He released the blessing upon him. He released the blessing upon him. He released the blessing upon him. That is why there are some demise. You are going to have to do something to trigger the pronouncement of the blessing. Glory be to Jesus. You see, that is this explains why it's not automatically happening to everybody. Because there are some scriptural demise that must be adhered to for it to be released into our lives. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. And then the, the number 20 says, verse 20, and blessed be God most high who has delivered you, delivered your enemy into your hands. And he gave him a tithe of it all. A tithe. Now we are not going into that today. But what you have to understand is that when it comes to success, mm -hmm. tithe is the foundation. That is why you can sit in the church the whole year. You can fast the whole year. You can pray the whole year. If you are not a faithful tither, mm. God can't do anything about your success. Mm. Nothing. So you see where tithe started. Our covenant father Abraham was a tither. God has said, I will make you a blessing. But the blessing was not released until he tithed. <laughs> Until he tithed, he met Melchizedek. You know, Melchizedek was a type of Christ in the Old Testament. And Melchizedek blessed him. You know, if you if you look at the verse, uh, uh, verse 18, he said, and he brought bread and wine, symbolizing the body and the blood. That was going to be used to bring the blessing to us. And then when he gave him the tithe, he blessed him. Blessed be Abraham. The blessing was released upon him. That is why God said, look unto Abraham. That is, we should watch the way the covenant worked in his life. We should watch how he lined up himself with the demise of the covenant. That was his part. God's part was settled. I mean, God, we are the variables. God is unshakable. God is firm. God is stable. You know, so watch him. And make sure you understand your part of the covenant and line up yourself with it. And success will be automatic. No devil. I mean, all that we are reading. Have you heard the, the name of the devil here? No. He's not the issue. So why are people making the devil the issue in their lives? That is because of the devil. That's why I'm not succeeding. Who told you? It's because you are ignorant. It's because you are not lining up with scriptural demise. Amen. It's not the devil. The devil can't stop us from succeeding when scriptures are being fulfilled because scriptures cannot be broken. It's hard for anyone to kick against the priest. So says our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And so, in your journey of success, please discard the name devil from your mind. Don't even think about him. If you think something is not working the way it should work, go to God. Father, where am I missing it? Spirit of the living God, open my eyes to it. It's not, ah, what devil is destroying my business? What devil is standing there? What devil is not? Stop those things. Sure. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so when the blessing was released on Abraham, we were right in the loins of Abraham. How did we know that? In the book of Hebrews chapter 7, from verse 9, the Bible says, Even Levi, who received tithes, paid tithe through Abraham, so to speak. No, give me, give me the uh, King James, not the new King James. Give, I, want, I want the original one, the King James. And as I may say so, Levi also, who received tithe, paid tithe in Abraham. Mm. He, he wasn't there physically. But he paid it in Abraham. That means when Abraham was paying the tithe to Melchizedek, we were right there. You and I were paying it. 
So when the blessing was released on him, it was released on us. So you have already been declared blessed. Praise the Lord. I was expecting to hear big amen to that. Amen. You have already been declared blessed. Let's look at the next verse. Verse 8 says what? 10. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Hallelujah. Can you imagine that? He was yet in the loins of his father Abraham. We were in him, in his loins, when he met Melchizedek. So you and I have met him before. You and I have met Melchizedek before. Just that our eyes were closed. But we have met him before. Praise the Lord. So when he met him, uh, he said, Father, this is the tithe. You and I were in him. We were giving him the tithe. And so when he said, Blessed be Abraham, he was saying, Blessed be Trawick. You can put your name there. I have put my name there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? Because for he was yet in the loins of his father. When Melchizedek met him, we were right there. He's a Levi. Levi means priesthood. Who are the priests? In the book of Revelation, the Bible says, God has made us unto himself kings and priests. We are the priests. Levi means the priesthood. So we have made the priest of him. And we were in our father Abraham. So that is why we have a covenant of success with God. And from, from this, from now to the end of...